COVID-19, the disease turned pandemic has taken millions of lives with cases only continuing to rise. Impartial to the lives it affects, the pandemic has worsened situations in disadvantaged countries. People struggle more than ever to get the healthcare resources they need, learn preventative measures, and cope with their fear. Ukraine is unfortunately one of those countries. I'm Rebecca Ice, an ambassador with the International Medical Code. We work to save lives and relieve suffering. I wanted to share with you how COVID has only worsened the human and healthcare crisis experienced in Ukraine. Even before the pandemic, the availability of healthcare resources was limited. People in Ukraine have had to deal with corrupt government, war zones, and isolation. But you can help. Here's some background on this situation. Ukraine is a country in the European region of the world. Its dreadful history of conflict and corruption is something the country is still experiencing to this day. As Russia continues to try to force control, conflict scatters the bottom. And with bribery of public officials considered the norm, Ukraine's corruption perception index is among one of the lowest in Europe. The Ukrainian people have attempted to contend this corruption with a new president and reforms that keep transparency a priority. These reforms have been admired worldwide. Despite making monumental efforts to reduce corruption, companies selling COVID vaccines forced the country to make exceptions to the transparency reforms. To even get vaccines imported and save lives, vaccine companies required Ukraine to refrain from releasing trade information to keep the company's trade secrets. Now, the Ukrainian people fear that the country is returning to its corrupted state. Despite having vaccines now available, the lack of healthcare resources has kept people unaware of the effects and value of the shock. Many Ukrainian doctors and public officials have either privately or openly denounced the vaccine. Even if a doctor promotes getting the vaccine, shelling and blocked roads have made many Ukrainian health facility staff scared for their lives and unable to go to work. This lack of health services and medicines have only been worsened by insufficient funding and COVID. Conflict, corruption, and COVID. The effect? Families, elders, and children ripped apart by conflict now lack both health resources and instruction from physicians on how to protect themselves from getting the virus. One such person affected was mother and refugee Claudia Kazakova. At age 79, she lives alone with family stuck on the other side of a war-torn area. With short finances and little health care resources available, Kazakova did not learn about the pandemic and how she can protect herself from a doctor or friend, but a volunteer. The pandemic has made it even more challenging to get the help for thousands of those like Kazakova. Like many of us, Kazakova has been struggling with loneliness and depression. She can't see her family and limits her outings fearful of what may happen tomorrow. The Ukrainian people fought for their lives, have fleed conflicted areas, and now have been battling COVID-19. But the International Medical Corps can help. As a nonprofit relief and development organization, we offer humanitarian assistance and partner with local organizations to increase access to child protection, mental health support, and healthcare resources for those living in afflicted areas. The International Medical Corps even works with the Ukraine Ministry of Health to contain the spread of COVID-19. To reduce misinformation, the International Medical Corps provides training for healthcare facility staff and promotes proper hygiene among community members. We offer mental health and psychosocial support groups run by psychologists, caseworkers, and community-based facilitators. These support groups reduce social isolation and increase contact within the community through psychoeducation and recreational activities. So how can you help? 
You can help the International Medical Code bring Ukraine humanitarian assistance, training, and medicine in three ways. First, donations. Donations are the most valuable form of support. Every dollar you donate unlocks on average an additional $30 in grants from institutions, donated medicines, and supplies. So truly, every dollar counts. Moreover, sharing your contributions on social media can help garner even more support. Go ahead and share your feel-good moment with your friends and family and how they can get the feeling too. The simplest way to help the International Medical Corps is raising awareness about the issue in Ukraine. More people aware of the situations means more people able to help. You can help Kazakova and thousands like her. The International Medical Corps helps save lives and relieve suffering. Together, we can help advantage the disadvantaged.